speak of. We had great weather most of this week, and then Friday happened. Well, we are still under cloudy skies here in the Triangle, but things are improving. Let's sneak a little farther to the west as we look live on our Whitley Law Firm Weather Camera Network. And what is that? A little bit of blue sky poking through in Person County up at Heiko Lake where it's 52 degrees. And then let's go over to the triad. Here's a live look over at UNC Greensboro where it is perfectly sunny. So that is coming our way. It's just going to take a while. We're going to check in in Greensboro here in a second for an update on the ACC tournament in just a few minutes. In the meantime, to the satellite and radar composite we go. The rain from earlier today is now to our east. The clouds are still here, but you can see that clearing line just in between us and Greensboro. And then I'm also going to point out this little bit of rain up here in Virginia that might sneak through here later tonight in the form of a quick isolated shower. But otherwise, the bulk of the rain for today is over with. And I've got that 20% chance of rain on your hour by hour forecast. It'll be around 7 or 8 o'clock. Temperature's still around 50. Otherwise, the rest of the night generally dry. So if you've got plans to head out, I don't know that practices, games are going to happen because the fields are pretty wet. But I think we're done from stuff from the sky, at least for a while. And then overnight, the clouds will clear out and that will allow temperatures to get cold again. 38 is how things will start off tomorrow morning. So we have the rain today. We've got a cold front coming through momentarily, and then we've got high pressure that'll build in for tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be a great day. Unfortunately, it's the only great day I have this weekend because as we go all the way across the country, this system in the Rocky Mountains, that's gonna zoom across the Midwest and be here on Sunday, contributing to pretty good rain chances. So it's the tale of two weekends. I would pick Saturday to go outside and Sunday, we got a whole lot of basketball on TV, including right here on CBS 17. So those are your weekend plans right there for you. So eight o'clock tonight. There's that little bit of rain sneaking through here. Maps go into motion. It's out of here. Nothing significant. Then we clear out late tonight. We'll stay sunny for the most part tomorrow, but it is going to be a chilly and windy day. Nothing else going on, though, on Futurecast. Here we are now Saturday night, so let's get into Sunday. That's when something will start to go on. Early Sunday morning, 6 a.m., we're cloudy. We've got some scattered rain showers. Sunday will be a wet and cold day, but there is a long shot, and I do mean a long shot, of seeing a few snowflakes up around the Virginia border. You can see some of that cold air in the upper atmosphere starting to turn some of that rain to snow up in Virginia, and then that line is going to kind of flirt with the Virginia border, the rain-snow line on the North Carolina-Virginia state line. That's how it's going to work this time around. This is at 9 a.m., Okay, and here we are at noon. So again, if you want a guarantee of snow, you're going to have to drive north. If you want to really roll the dice and stay here, most likely scenario is cold, wet weather. Here we are at noon. You can see some scattered showers and then a little bit of rain hanging on through the evening hours. But again, it'll be a cold, wet day Sunday, a breezy, sunny, and cool day Saturday with a high of 55. Again, 40s with wet weather Sunday. And then we'll start to see the rain push out early Monday morning. And then a dry and warming stretch of weather Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. As you can see by St. Patrick's Day and next Saturday, we've got another chance of rain and some warmer temperatures. All right, no 